All right, when regular go-kart racing just isn't exciting anymore, <laughs> leave it to Coloradans to take it to the next level. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer takes us to Aspen, where a very unique attraction is giving thrill seekers a chance to zoom through Colorado's backcountry. On a cold morning in the mountains outside of Aspen, the peace and serenity of a frozen lake pierced by the scream of a two-stroke engine. They're fast and you can really just full throttle haul on these things. You can drift, you can really play around with them. They're so much fun. This is Aspen Ice Karting. Their little racing cart. Sliding around slick corners. Drifted pretty hard. Blasting down sub-zero straightaways. 30 miles an hour or so, maybe 40 on those straightaways. All on top of 16 inches of frozen Kodiak Lake. There is fish underneath us sleeping right now. This adrenaline-fueled idea came from this guy. I think it's a 12 horsepower engine. Kiko and his wife Yvette Trincata. T-R-I-N. He comes up with great, crazy ideas like, hey, what about running go-karts on the ice commercially? And I figure out how to make that happen. The season may be short, only a few months until the track melts. Yeah, they water ski on this in the summer. But last year, more than a thousand people raced across the frozen lake. Super fun. Best experience. I had a blast. It was a great time, very exciting. Including some rather large names from the racing world. Luca de Grazzi is like the Formula E world champion. We've had Jeff Gordon come out and his wife Ingrid and his kids. It may not be the most comfortable ride. It's not, it's not smooth. It's really bumpy and it's really hard. It's, it's super hard to work with the ice. But it is super cool, cold even. Oh, and super fast. You never knew that you could have so much fun in a tiny car. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.